What's up guys? It is Friday. The weekend is almost here. You guys survived another week and looking forward to a fun workout filled weekend. All right. Remember we have the Zoom Saturday at nine, Sunday at nine as well. All right. Tune into those. Here is your wad brief for Friday. <laughs> All right, guys, two rounds for your warm up. We're gonna start with 20 jumping jacks, then moving into 10 mountain climbers and five plank to downward dog. And I want you to release one hand in the bottom of that downward dog position and try and touch a toe. All right, and then just alternate. So go through that two times. All right, moving on into your strength work, guys. Now, strength work today is going to be limited by your overhead mobility, all right? So I have a couple options for those of you that when you try and put an arm overhead and maintain that hollow position, it just doesn't quite get there unless this happens, all right? I don't wanna see that broken position happen. So maintaining hollow before you even start, see if you can get that arm past or behind your ear maintaining hollow, that's your test. All right, if you can get the arm past your ear maintaining hollow, then I want you to try and attempt those dumbbell overhead squats. All right, now, another thing I want you to think about is as you're squatting, is this happening? All right, are you hinging? Are you moving forward with the chest? If so, then I want you to scale out to maybe one of those other options, all right? Dumbbell overhead squats are really difficult. So try maybe with lightweight or just hand overhead first just to see how it goes first. Uh, so we have 10 overhead squats dumbbell or kettlebell in the right hand and then 10 overhead squats dumbbell or kettlebell in the left hand we're going to go through that for three sets now if you guys cannot maintain that hollow position that upright chest and upright torso with the dumbbell overhead then i want you to try a dumbbell or kettlebell overhead lunge all right lunge allows for a little bit more wiggle room in the hips so you guys can stay upright and keep that dumbbell vertically stacked over the shoulders like it should be all right now if the lunges just aren't feeling it you're not feeling lunges today just do a goblet squat instead Weight is in the front rack position in a regular um, air squat, holding on to that weight. All right, so three sets, 10 each arm. Then moving on into our Metcon, guys. It is a partner workout today, as is every Friday. Um, we're gonna start with a 16 minute AMRAP, all right? Partners are gonna switch rounds, alternate rounds. So partner number one, you're gonna do one complete round. And partner number two, you're gonna do one complete round. Now the rounds should be fast though. You guys should not be sitting around a long time waiting for your partner. The rep scheme is small, all right? So it's gonna be a very quick sprint round and then a short rest, followed by, again, another quick sprint round and a short rest. You're gonna start with two devil's press. You guys can use one or two dumbbells for these if you have them, all right? Make sure you're going all the way down so chest touches and then that overhead can be like a snatch or like a swing overhead to lock out, all right? Only two. Then we have four sit-ups, make those as fast as possible, and six pistols. We can switch the pistols out to being either a two-leg squat or a flamingo pistol where one foot is behind the other um, for assistance, all right? If those aren't uh, working out for you guys, you can switch it up to just regular air squats as well. All right, now we have some fun uh, core conditioning today. I really encourage you guys not to skip this part. This is gonna be a really good burner for you guys, all right? Three rounds, each movement is gonna be 45 seconds with a 15 second transition to the next movement. We're gonna go through all movements three times. All right, the first one is a side to side floor thruster. That means you're gonna start in a plank position and you're gonna hop your feet from one side back to plank to the other side back to plank and so on. Continue for 45 seconds. If the hopping is too difficult, you can always just step out to the side, step back to plank, step out to the other side. All right, then we have a windshield wiper. The goal for the windshield wiper is that your feet are not going to touch the ground, all right? We're not just flopping to one side and flopping to the other. We're lowering with control. Feet never touch the ground. You can scale to a knee bent option. That'll make it a little bit easier. But again, knees are not gonna touch the ground. They're just gonna go from side to side with control. All right, then we have our plank around the world, trying to stay nice and hollow in that good plank position without too much rotation as we're lifting up one hand, then the other hand, then one foot, and then the other foot. All right, going all the way around um, one hand or foot at a time. And finishing up with upper body hollow lifts. So we do hollow holds a lot, right? Where feet are off the ground and shoulders and head are off the ground. We're holding like that banana position or that boat position. Today I want you guys to focus on upper body only. 
All right, so your legs, you're just gonna stay nice and flat on the floor and you're gonna see how high can you lift your upper body off the ground and then all the way back down to that flat position. All right, so once we've made it through 45 seconds each movement with a 15 second transition, we're gonna go back to the top and repeat for a total of three rounds. All right, have fun with this one today. If you have any questions, reach out to me guys. Uh, enjoy this and have a happy weekend tomorrow.